Welcome to the tutorial video for the Watts 2.0 application. To begin with, you're going to have this screen right here which shows your controllers being on and connected to your Wi-Fi. To access your controller, simply click the select button. That'll bring you into your menu. To give you a quick look, right at the beginning here, you can have a quick function with power on and off utilizing the little blue tab right in the corner. Right now the power of the controller is off and if you want to turn on your system, simply come in and tap. This will turn on your watts lights. Let's hop into the app. Let's get you comfortable with your home screen. On your home screen you have a variety of different functions and features. First off, at the very top you'll see a one hexagon white bulb. With this you can actually increase and create patterns of up to 12 bulbs. To simply add a bulb, click the plus button. As you can see now, you have two bulbs. This will create a pattern on your house of white, green, white, green, white, green, and repeat itself across your entire home. You can add up to 12 as such. Going in and creating custom colors and choosing how you want to add a unique look on your home. Let's just stick with four for now. To create custom patterns and different colors, you can utilize our color selection wheel in the middle of the screen. With this, you can utilize via touch to select the color you want to use. So if we wanted to do, uh, you know, orange, coming into more of a red, let's increase our brightness here, maybe a purple, and all the way down to a blue. So you can get very creative in selection of your colors. Beyond this, we actually have a variety of different color selection options besides just the color wheel. We have sliders, so if you know specifically which RGB value to get the color you want, you can utilize that. Increasing like this, going like that, doing like that will give us more unique red. We also have the ability to set and utilize our presets. In the middle, we have our most common colors that we have available to choose from. So if you simply want to use those, select your bulb and select it. So if we want to change that green one, you'd simply highlight the green and say select that orange. You can also create your own customizable color option. So if you have a favorite color that isn't in our common colors that you want to use all the time, simply select and hold one of the bulbs and it will bring you to this advanced editor. In here, you can utilize the color selection wheel, the sliders, or on the bottom there, you'll see a hexadecimal code color. If you have a specific color that you've seen online, such as a favorite sports team's color, or say just a favorite blue, you can actually utilize an online hex code to automatically put that in. But for now, I'm just gonna quickly show you. We can turn up the, let's turn up the brightness. As you can see, it brought everything to uh, full on the sliders as well as the hexadecimal code color for white. Let's just quickly select, you know, I like a turquoise. Perfect. Once this is selected and you like that, simply hit the back button in the top left here, like such, and that will forever be a selectable color option on there. You can have up to 16 and you can get creative and add a lot of your own custom colors. If we hit the tab one more time, in here you'll now see our hex code value or one of my favorite features, a random color option. If you don't know what you want, simply hit the dice and it'll give you a random color. Rinse and repeat to offer a variety of different options. Let's go back to the main screen. I want to bring attention to a couple other options on the Watts 2.0 app. For starters, at the very bottom, you'll see speed, intensity, and a master brightness control. The master brightness will control the entire brightness of the pattern on the house. So, by simply turning this down, you'll notice that it will instantly turn down the brightness on your home. But we'll keep it at max for now. On here as well, you also have speed and intensity. These are related to animations. So under speed, this will incre increase and decrease the speed of an animation. Some of our animations at full speed will look very fast and might be a little distracting. So just mess around with the speed option to find the perfect uh, speed for the selected animation that you want. And the intensity, just the intensity of the effect of the animation. To select your animation, simply locate at the top. Where it says solid, you can use the arrows, like such, 
to move through your animation options. However, you can also use it as a scroll wheel like this. So you can move with the arrows, chase, chase and fade. We have a variety of different animation options. So take some time and check these out. Each one will be unique and offer a unique look on your home. Once you have something that you really love, an option that you've created, we have a preset option. On here, say you love this look. You can actually come in down and save it as a preset. So if you click save, you can now give a name to your animation. Let's just call it test. Perfect. So we've created our own preset. To see your presets, simply click on the bottom here and click preset. Under the preset option, you'll have a variety of different options. First off, under global presets, when you click here for the drop down menu, this is all of our Watts Lights presets. What you'll see is everything from a cool white to most major holidays, as well as a couple cool animations for Halloween and potential sports teams. So, if you want to select one, simply load up the animations. You can click it to know it's on. It'll be highlighted in green. And when you actually go back to your patterns, it'll actually have that preset and shown on the home. Also under presets, let's find that preset we saved. So under pattern presets, you'll find our test pattern. On there, you'll be able to click that and it'll automatically bring that back. Perfect. And it even saves the animation. Some other really nice features about Watts 2.0 is we can actually do single bulb control. With single bulb control, you're able to control different aspects of the home. Say you want to light up the corners, or simply just have a staggered pot light look every 50th light. You can actually go in here and identify the bulb and add more. So if you wanted to, you can actually do something along the lines of... adding and doing a custom pattern utilizing different bulbs. So you can set this to the maximum amount of lights in your system and turn on the first and last, or utilize your app to just light the corners. This will take a little bit of testing, and you can see it with on the effect in the home by associated colors that will show which bulb you're actually using. With this, you can actually set a background color too. It starts with a standard off, however, if you want to light up the entire house with a blue, and have just white corners, you absolutely can. You can also save these as presets like we did the previous one, but those ones will be located under, once saved, single bulb user presets. Let's go back to our main screen. On here, we also have a schedule function. Under a schedule, you can create a multi-schedule experience. Let's go to the schedule function. On the schedule function, you're able to create start times and turn off times utilizing either a, either a set time of day or sunrise sunset. Let's do a time of day. For here, we have 237. To customize this, what you would do is first off, choose your time. Let's quickly say we want our lights to turn on at 6 o'clock, 6.01 p.m. Hit OK, perfect. Next, you have whether the lights will turn on or turn off. So let's set this to turn on. Next, you would select a preset. So in here, you can use our current uh, global presets, or you can even set it to the test preset you made. So you can set this to one of our global presets or to some of your custom user settings or user, user presets. So let's just go with warm white three, one off. You choose which days you would like it to turn on. Let's do just Monday to Friday. Click save. Now our lights will turn on at 6.01 p.m. Next, let's set a shutoff time. On here, you can e select and do Turn lights off. Let's say we want to turn these off at 12 
7.30 a.m. Just a little bit after midnight. And we're going to turn these off. Friday. However, we'd probably want to turn them off Saturday just for. So we're going to turn these off Monday through Saturday, and they turn on Monday through Friday. You can actually create multiple schedules. So what you're able to do is now create a different one, say specifically for Sunday and Monday. So if you wanted, you would just simply set that, and you can actually create multiple different schedules in your system. So you can get creative. You could create one for every single day if you want, or you can have multiple turn on and turn off times throughout the day. We offer a variety of different features and functionality on the Watts 2.0 app. This covers some of the basic functionality. However, for more advanced users, we have a full back-end log of advanced settings. For now, we're not going to touch these. The only one that I would say you would want to look at is potentially the device config. In here, you are able to rename your device to whichever you wish. You can set your total bulb count, as well as you can create a segment. So if you wanted, you could have, let's just quickly back this up. You can create multiple segments on, the, on your lights. We'll just back this up. So now we'd have two segments on the home. This can be controlled independently and can give you different color control for those areas. So if you have one controller, you could do a different segment for the front of the home, for the top and the bottom. So you can get creative. We'll just go back. When you find everything that, that you want to use, simply top that up. You can individually name your different segments and you control them all independently. For the rest of the settings, we can go through that on a later video. But this is your new Watts application. Get creative, try some new colors, and really find something that you love. For more advanced control settings, that'll be on a different video. Thank you very much. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at info at or give us a call.